guys. So the other day I did a Toxic Love Book Series video on my YouTube and on my Facebook group, I think. Um, I have now finished the fifth book, which is out next year in July. Um, and I thought I would be done. I would be like, completely finished. You know, like, completely, yeah. So, um, obviously not, because in author talk, yeah, Chloe and Marco and Tyrone and Darcy are, and Kane, are still talking to me. So... I have no choice. Um, they want their story to be continued. So, obviously, the Toxic Love series is continuing with book six. Um, obviously, <laughs> I don't know how many books it's going to be now because I originally confirmed it to be five books and that is it. I wanted it to be done and you know when i did darcy and chloe that was like a spin-off to celebrate 10 years of chloe um and then i turned it into a book series me my me you know um and then i finished the fifth book not so long ago um ready for next year um, I am currently typing it up right now, um, but obviously the characters want their story to con to continue, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. So, this is really annoying because, like I said, I confirmed it to be five books and now it's going to be like, I don't know how many books, but book six is coming. <laughs> I don't know when. I don't know what year. I don't know what month. And I don't what I don't know what day because I have actually confirmed the twenty twenty five books like ne ne next year, you know. Um which is what I'm writing. I'm writing the twenty twenty five books ready for next year. Um, because I think my problem is that I write too fast, but, um, obviously, it's the characters that write the story. Well, they tell me what to write, and I just put it on paper, and that is all the talk for you. I'm not nuts, honestly. I'm not nuts. I'm not weird. Well, I don't think I am. <laughs> I don't think I am weird, but the characters tell me what to write and then I put it on paper. So, obviously, Chloe wants her story to continue, um, which is fine. I mean, it's a little bit annoying, but I have to do what the characters say, if that makes sense. Because, I'll tell you something, when I did um, Darcy and Chloe, I didn't want to see Ty ever again. When I, when I finished that book, I didn't want to see Ty ever again. He really pissed me off. Um, and then I decided to do a third book, me. Because, you know, I'm just me. Um, and then I made it so he was shot. And then somehow in the middle of writing it, he's alive. That means he wasn't shot in the first place. So it's a bit of a, like, twist. Uh, like, you know. <laughs> so... 
it's a bit. When I finished, when I finished I Want a Happy Ending, my feelings for Ty changed. I really like this guy. He's changed and he is like the man of my dreams. He's like a version of my boyfriend, let's say, before I get into trouble. Um, so... Obviously, he's the man of my dreams, and he is exactly like my boyfriend. Like, he helped um, Chloe give birth to Willow because he wasn't actually there for his own child's birth. So that was his biggest mistake and regret, um, which I get. Um... So, he is lovely now. He is completely changed. He's not, like, he's not a, like, I shouldn't say this, really. I don't know if YouTube allows it, but he, he was such a dickhead in the, in book two, you know. Um, but he isn't in book five. He's, like, changed. He's, like, in book one, yeah, he was lovely, and charming and handsome until Chloe found out that he's lying about his age so they break up a lot has a lot happened between um in 10 years you know um and Chloe was married to Ty when she was 20 Ty assaulted the guy because he thought he was flirting with um, Chloe in boots. And, um, yeah, so, oh my days. So, it looks like I'm writing books until I actually retire. And it seems like I'm not going to not gonna retire because you know i'm coming up with stories every single day and it's really annoying like i have so many people talking to me in my head and that is all the talk that is all the talk guys so um obviously it's gonna happen because it has to it's gonna happen um I don't know, like I said, I don't know when, and I don't know what year, but possibly 2027. Um, obviously, I haven't done that yet, but, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's really annoying, but it's cool. I mean... If they want their story to continue, then, you know, i got to do it, I guess. Um, they won't leave me alone, anyway, if I didn't do it. They wouldn't leave me alone. So, um, yeah. So, this is book one. This is the reason why I did this. And then the ending changed to on Darcy and Chloe. And then this is like the fourth book that's just been released in August. Um, so yeah, this is, this was 10 years old in 2023. So technically... It is 11 years old now. Because I did that in 2020, 2013 when I was at school. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, I'm going to do that. Obviously, I'm going to continue their story because that's what they want. Um, so, yeah. Um, obviously... 
that is all I'm going to say. Um, I just want you to let you know that the, that the um, Toxic Love series continues. I'm never going to retire at this rate, am I?